Happy Friday, everybody. It's February 11th, 2022. I'm Brad Restituto. You can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Brad the Believer. Please give a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Brad the Believer. Uh, I've done the Rest Stop podcast, which you guys have supported. I'm continuing to build relationships and have followers and subscribers every day. Uh, I don't want it just to be about the social media. I tend to have an, a, a personal connection with everybody that I come in contact with. So please keep showing love and support. Got a special guest on board today to talk a little Super Bowl football and sports talk with me. I'm going to bring him on so shortly. His name's Braxton. He's been on the rest stop before. He's a young man that's very passionate and talented in every realm of sports. So we'll get a few minutes of his time and see what his thoughts are on Super Bowl 56, which is coming up this Sunday. But before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to Las Vegas' The Pono League here in town, playing basketball leagues on Monday mornings. Myself, that's where I play. I also play on Saturday nights. These leagues are run. Uh, I only got two names on the top of my head, so forgive me, but Nick and CJ run the leagues. Follow them on Instagram and on Facebook at Pono League, but also the at is at path.bl. That's path.bl for Pono League Basketball. And to tell you a little bit about that, guys, it's some of the most competitive leagues here in Las Vegas. You have pro divisions and you also have young divisions. And then Saturday nights, I play in 40 and over basketball divisions. They keep stats. They do players of the week. They do championship belts uh, for the players. It's really run very well. Uh, it's some of the best basketball in town, and it's run the right way by the guys that run it. They have photography by Ball Dogs Basketball, which you can find on Instagram, and also some of the guys that run the league do the pictures as well. Uh, they really do it first class, guys. So if you're just moving to town in Las Vegas, I know we have some of the Facebook pages for adult basketball. The Pono League at path.bl is one of the best in town. So please give them a like, give them a follow. And if you have any other questions, you can reach out to me and I could get you in touch with Nick or CJ, but please give them a like, a follow on Facebook. That's the Pono League basketball. They, they do it right, guys. Uh, we're having an all-star game on Valentine's Day, Monday morning. It's going to be a lot of fun, a three-point contest. So they're really doing it well. And if you're not from Las Vegas and you want to be a part of the basketball community, this is a place to be. I grew up in Florida and we had basketball year round but to come out here in las vegas and to have basketball seven days a week for guys of any age to compete it's high level competition on every little level it's fun uh there's no bs great refs man i'm telling you it's the place to play basketball post professional career or pre-professional career here in las vegas so definitely got to give those boys a shout out and much love to them but without further ado i'm going to bring on my guest for the day braxton Braxton, thanks for joining me again. Uh, this isn't the Rest Stop podcast, but we're just going to record a few minutes, uh, and I'm excited to have you kind of as my first guest doing these short videos before I start getting the podcast going. So uh, how are you doing, Braxton? Uh, I'm doing good, Big B. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, buddy. Uh, so your mom told me that uh, that you got to see some of the Pro Bowl practices. You're rocking the Cooper Cup jersey. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that was like uh, for your first time being able to be uh, around those Pro Bowl activities and seeing some of your favorite players. Did you have a good time? Did you get to get any autographs or, or pictures? Tell me what that was like from your perspective. Well, I did have a very good time there. Uh, I didn't get any autographs, though. That was whack, but <laughs> I got pictures with some of them. Well, uh, your mom tells, uh, tells me also because, I mean, I don't get to talk to you personally, so I kind of get this secondhand, but she said that uh, you're kind of an Odell Beckham fan, and uh, did you like his move going to the Rams? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I really did like it. So why why not the rocking of the Odell Beckham jersey? Why Cooper Cup is uh, if you had to pick one, who would you pick? Cooper Cup. Okay, he's he's pretty he's pretty legendary this year with the triple crown stats. He led the league in receiving touchdowns, receiving yards, receptions. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all right. You don't you don't have, just just whatever you comes to your mind. Just say you don't have to feel like. You have any pressure to say anything special or anything like that let's just have a conversation uh so tell me um who, who is your number one favorite team in the nfl no, no bias aside who do you root for at the end of the day steelers the steelers 100%. is your dad a steelers fan yeah okay well you know i i hate to break we the out here. 
Uh, I hear you, Nista. I hate to break. see out here, boy. No. <laughs> big, big means. I I hate to break it uh, to your old man, but uh, I, I'm kind of a Steelers hater, and not not for the fact that because uh, I have all the respect for Mike Tomlin. You know, he came from the Vikings originally, not originally because he was with Tampa Bay before. But uh, me being a former Vikings fan, when Brad Childress was the head coach, he was uh, the defensive coordinator, secondary coach before he became the head coach of the Steelers. And I thought, I think he's done a masterful job as the head coach. I'm just not a big fan of Big Ben. And then when Antonio Brown was over there, I just think the Steelers have been overrated for a long time. But this gives Mike Tomlin an opportunity, starting fresh, a new quarterback, uh, pretty much from the ground up. The Steelers are really going to have a chance to build post Ben Roethlisberger. So even though I'm not the biggest Steelers fan, I got to give you respect for that being your team. Now, I have to ask you, Braxton, since the Raiders have been here in Las Vegas, do you show the Raiders any love at all? That's been my second favorite team for my whole life. Okay. I'm down with that. So I want to talk more about what you're doing outside of your sports fandom. Okay. You, you, you're about to start taking golf lessons from what I hear. You're mm -hmm. a brown belt in Taekwondo. Give me a little bit about all the things that you do when you're not in school. Well, mostly I do Taekwondo, but usually on Fridays or the weekend, I'm just laying in bed playing video games. What's your favorite games? Um, uh, Madden 22. Are you good? Um, not, not yet. That, well, not kind good. of. Kind of. Where Where do you think you can improve on? Is it the passing game, the running game, the defense? Uh, passing. Passing game. Well, you're not like some of those teams that jump off sides five times a game, are you? You're not. You're not undisciplined like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope not. Being a Taekwondo guy, you better be disciplined, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh tell me about this golf thing you're, you're about to start picking up golf yeah okay well are you interested are, does that excite you or it excites me very much yeah i mean have you ever have you played at all before uh some well i play like with my dad oh, okay all right so you're not nervous not really okay that's good to know how are your grades in school how are your grades in school? Um, well, they're okay. Not great. Well, I'm getting them better. That's good. My I worst grade is a C. I'm reading. All right. Hey, you know, w my worst grade would be in math or uh, an, a second language. So don't feel bad about that. Just keep showing up. Now I got to ask you something off sports topic topic, because from what I remember, the last time we talked. You know, you and your sister and your other siblings, you guys like to rumble around a little bit. So is everybody getting along in the household over there? Yeah. Okay. Who Who's giving you the most trouble as far as giving you a hard time? Or are you giving them more of a hard time than they're giving you a hard time? It's my sister. <laughs> she She's the number one culprit, huh? Mm -hmm. Is she the troublemaker of the group? Yeah. All right, Braxton. Well, I got to ask you, what's your prediction for the Super Bowl and who's going to be the MVP? Well, I think the Rams are going to win because they're called the Rams for a reason because they ram everybody up. All right. They have the best defensive players in the whole wide world on Von Miller on one side and Aaron Donald on the other. Offense can get you there, but defense wins you Super Bowls. There you go. So who's going to win the MVP, Brax? Well, congratulations, Detroit. I think Matthew Stafford is going to win the MVP because he spent all that time in Detroit, 0-3 three, oh three in the Super Bowl, not in the Super Bowl, in the playoffs. So, and he's being battle-tested all the way just to get here. There you go. You heard it from Braxton. The Rams get the win well, at so wait, twice. Oh, but go ahead. his in the – the divisional round against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, his arm strength was just a little suspect when he was throwing those deep throws. Some of them were close, but they didn't connect. For, that should have been connected. 
So uh, watch I out for you. that in the Super Bowl. I hear you, Brax. I hear you, Braxton's going the LA Rams and Matt Stafford as the MVP. SoFi Stadium Sunday, February 13th, Super Bowl 56. Cincinnati Bengals, LA Rams. Braxton likes the Rams. The Believer likes the Bengals. It's the year of the Tiger in the Chinese New Year. Let's see who comes out. Braxton, uh, stick around in the green room, green room for a minute. I want to chat with you after, uh, after we record here, but thank you so much uh, for giving me a little time. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Me too. All right, Thank have a good one. Thank you for having me on here. You got it, buddy. That was Braxton. We're going to follow up with him later on. His mom is the sports nista. She covers MMA, boxing, and all kinds of sports here in town. So give her a follow on Twitter, Instagram, all the like at sports nista. Braxton has done a spot with me on the rest stop before. Uh, this young man, he's only 10 years old but he's got a lot of talent. He's got a lot of passion and I'm going to keep bringing him on to some of the projects that I do every now and then we're going to talk sports. We're going to talk life and everything. And I've got uh, some other young people in the works too. My, my cousin, Brenna Restituto, she's a big sports fan. I was going to bring her on with Braxton. She was unable to make it today, but look for her down the road too. So we're going to have some more exciting guests that maybe you've never seen or heard for, from before, but you'll get to know them. You'll get to love them. And uh, we're going to do a lot of great things in 2022. So I hope everybody enjoys Super Bowl 56. Have a happy Valentine's Day on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. We'll check back in with you next week. Give a like and subscribe. Brad the Believer on YouTube. Brad the Believer on Instagram and Twitter. And Brad Restituto on Facebook. Have a great one, guys. Good night.